to begin the Dark Aether storyline with a relevant understanding of some of its characters and the setting of the Dark Aether itself, it is helpful to have a brief understanding of the ending of the Aether storyline. We won't spend long on this, but it is important to start here. I've already posted a two hour long story video last year on the entire Aether story, links in this video's description. The Dark Aether story follows directly on from those events. In a prior world, the multiverse and all of the worlds inside of it were trapped in suffering. Two gods of chaos and order, the Shadow Man and Monty, and their subsequent factions, the Apothecans and Keepers, fought eternally, forever dooming the world in a time loop where reality was continually destroyed. Until one fateful loop, events changed, and Ultimus and Primus were able to end this cycle of torment through tremendous sacrifice. They sacrificed their own lives and trapped the entire of the doomed multiverse full of monsters around them in the dark ether forevermore. Reality collapsed, everything that spewed forth from the ether was banished to where they belonged. Victus helped in their final moments before fading away into the dark ether, unaware that they would be cast down, leading them to feel betrayed by Ultimus Richtofen, who instructed them telepathically via Samuel Stullinger's ethereal link with him. The Apothecans and Keepers rejoiced before being fractured throughout the Dark Aether, leading to similar but different demented beings emerging from their dust. With this brave action and the paradox resolved, thanks to the Agathon device, a new linear world free of corruption was created. Only two innocent children would survive this apocalyptic scenario, Samantha Maxis and Eddie Richtofen, both of whom had previously resided in Monty's house in the not-so-perfect Agatha that's now no more. Samantha's soul was plucked from Ultimus Richtofen's body post-Moon, not much is known about Eddie's early life or how he grew up compared to the other versions of Richtofen. All that is known is that he resided in Dimension 2210. At some point while he was a child, Eddie was visited by a grown-up counterpart of himself from Dimension 63, Primus Richtofen, who killed him and acquired his soul with the summoning key, as part of his plan to secure a better tomorrow, and was later transported to the house to join Samantha. Panther. The two became friends and would spend much of their time playing with toys gifted to them by Monty. Samantha and Eddie's souls were thought to be purified by Monty, and thanks to the sacrifice of our heroes, these children were able to walk together into the new world and begin new lives, holding hands free of the cycle forever. Element 115, the summoning key, Primus and Ultimus, the Apothecans and the Keepers, and no more. In my explanation of the Aetherverse, I included elements from the campaign and world events due to them being relevant to the world building. With Black Ops 2 and Black Ops Cold War's campaigns both having multiple choices and endings, it's important to understand that all but one scenario took place in the prior multiverse, with an infinite amount of possibilities in each universe. The campaign events do happen in this new universe, 